In today's video, we're taking a look at some of the best applications that you should install on your Android device. With that said, the first app on the list goes by the name of Comptin. Now, Comptin is an Android app that is filled with a lot of modules or you can say custom ROM features that you can use on your unrooted device straight from the Play Store just by installing this application. As soon as you open it, you will find a list of modules that do specific tricks or tips onto your phone. The app basically has a lot of dynamic features that are split into different modules and you can install these modules on your phone and they're literally plug and play. You just hit on install and they start working right away. Now, a couple of modules that this Android app includes something known as ambient display. So you can basically turn on and create an always on display no matter what Android phone you have and whether you have that feature or not. You can use this app to lock apps with a passcode or a pattern. It allows you to force orientation, including 180 degrees. So you can, you know, force rotate apps that don't support that natively. You can use a module that I really like known as caffeine, which basically keeps your screen on for a certain amount of time. And there are a lot of other modules that are constantly added with new features added over time that you can manage using this application to make your Android device a little bit smarter. This is just one of the apps and I've got a great lineup planned for you guys. So let's not waste any time, hit on the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. At number two guys, we've got an application called Touch Block Free. And as the name suggests, you know, especially in today's day and age, if you have an Android phone that has a curved display or a curved edge on both sides, accidental touches with as big as phones are getting are very common. And this is an application that just puts borders on both sides of the screen that let you, you know, block touches. So no more accidental touches on the sides of your screen. Inside the application, you can choose a block color, select the intensity of the app and the width of the block. The only thing that I would have wanted is maybe adding, making both of them separate. So if I just want it on the left side or on the right side, but right now, as of now, the app works in dual mode. So it just creates borders on both the sides of the screen. There's no way to customize it manually. But over and all, if you're a person who's, uh, you know, suffering from accidental touches and ghost touches on your big curved Android phone, this is a free app that should take care of just that. With that said, at number three, we have Nextbot. And in the world of 2023, ChatGPT and AI is the dog of the town. Everybody's talking about how great it is and how you can use it to, you know, do so many things. Nextbot is an application that uses the same GPT-3 language module and it can, you know, use it to help you sort of find and create new content. So once you open up the application, you can see you have a place to, you know, add an introduction or a title, choose the tone of voice, the language and generate AI script or whatever you want it to. Now, if you go and click on the hamburger menu, you'll find a lot of different templates. These include hashtag generators, Amazon product descriptions. There are also categories like social media, which you can use to create Instagram photo captions, ads, SEO, writing code, uh, tools, writing, uh, videos as well as YouTube video descriptions and you know scripts and hooks that I'm demonstrating right now there's a lot of stuff here and the app allows you to use up to 333 words as basically generate this amount of words in the free plan so you can really try and see whether this app does generate something for you whether you're a content researcher curator creator or even a writer at number four I've got a really interesting app that I actually have to get credit to Moby Scrub for I saw it in his app video and I had to try it out and it works just like he said and so I'm sharing this to you guys. This is called Cinema HD V2 and as the name suggests, this is an application where it sources, you know, social media as well as OTT as well as different films and TV shows from all over the internet and you can watch it right here with this application. The app does not have any servers, it just hosts them from random websites. You can download them and watch them on your phone. It has a lot of international content as well as a lot of regional content if you're somebody who wants to watch shows in Bengali or Hindi and even the latest shows like The Last of Us or uh, you know this Marvel Libra Luca Libra that I had uh, been trying to play over here and it's a hit or a miss not all of them work as intended but 9 out of 10 times it works and it gives you free OTT to stream so I don't really know what what's wrong with this application definitely go and check it out the link will be in the description below next up we've got an application called Fine Lock and Fine Lock is an application only for Samsung users or One UI users now you might be wondering that Good Lock 
already exists, right? So what is the need of an application like this? Well, good luck doesn't really work all the time and some, you know, Galaxy devices might have issues with it. So this is an application that is basically a good luck replacement. Due to the Google Play policy, this application does not really install the modules inside this application. You have to get the APKs from somewhere else. But if you need a good manager and you already have the APKs like Navstar, Lockstar and all of these Samsung, uh, you know, OEM stuff that you can use to customize the look of your Galaxy device, then this is a great replacement for good luck, especially if you've been having problems with that. On that note, I'm going to be bringing a customization guide soon for, uh, you know, Samsung Galaxy devices or one UI customization without any launchers. So press that, press on that subscribe button whenever you get the chance if you're interested for that video. With that said, let's move on to the next application and it goes by the name of Musea. Now, Musea is a fantastic application that I can't think I haven't checked out before. If you have an AMOLED display or an always on screen on your phone, you can use this application to sort of create a super cool minimal always on music player. Basically, whenever you have music playing and you lock your phone, the application shows the album art as well as a black background with the music info. As soon as you click on the power button, you can change the music, you can pause it, you can also see the battery at the bottom. I think that's a really cool addition. It just looks great, right? Especially taking use of that always on display. And and you can also customize quite a lot of stuff within the application, including the font style, the font size, the different colors, and yeah, a couple of other commands as well. Overall, super cool music app for what it does. Highly recommend it. Moving on, guys, we've got an application called Rewind. And if you're a fan of old school music, whether we're talking about 90s rock and roll or the jazz and the funk rock era of 70s and 80s, and if you appreciate good music that is not from our time period per se, then Rewind is an application that is gonna take you by surprise. Now, props and beauty points for the absolutely wonderful UI that this application has. I really love the way it works. So what it works is you click on the date at the top and you can select the date that you want. It goes back all the way to 1960s to 2010. And you can select uh, the best of the best music, the top billboard, uh, you know, artists as well as songs that had ranked in those years. And you can also play radios that shuffle these songs from that time era. It really feels like you tra get transported back to that time and if you appreciate good music and music from you know the past from apps like this i think this is going to be a great way uh, to scratch that itch so check it out if you will it's free and you really don't have anything to lose the next two applications are customization apps and i know that since i am back with an android app video after so long you guys would be asking me about the widget as well as the wallpaper let's start with the widget first this is the lot say kwgt skin it is an absolutely wonderful minimal kwgt pack that i really really like it's got a lot of nice widgets some of them are card based some of them are material design inspired others are just straight up clean and gorgeous. They look great on any Android home screen. And if you like customizing your Android device, this is a no brainer. Definitely check it out. It'll be linked below. The next one is called Wavy Wallpapers. And I feel like I've spoken about this application in the past, but I keep coming back to it, which is why I'm mentioning it again. Wavy Wallpapers is an amazing wallpaper application that lets you set, as they say, these wavy abstract concepts. Now, I like the way the app's UI has been made in the way that there are a lot of categories like wavy heavy dark, uh, shades of grey, bubblegum, yellow, uh, yerba, leave me alone. So some really cool wordplay here. And at the end of the day, the wallpapers are really nice. You can directly set them or you can directly save them to your gallery. And I think it's really worth it, especially if you like this abstract minimal look on your home screen. The KWGT pack and this wallpaper will go really, really well together. So yeah, you can show and create a new setup with these applications. Last but not the least, we've got Shortcut Maker. And this is an application that, again, I have mentioned in the past, but it received an update and it, it is just absolutely amazing right now. Now, as the name suggests, this application has two uses. Number one, you can make a shortcut of basically anything on your phone. It's whether it's an app or an activity inside the app or a quick access contact, a folder, files, you know, settings, websites, inside app requests, etc., etc. You can also create collections of folders and shortcuts together and put them on your home screen if you want to create a really automated workflow or something really specific it's you know made by rushikesh who is an indian developer so i'm already loving this app because it's made by a fellow indian brother 
and I think the UI is also really really nice. The second case scenario for this app is to create and customize icons. So you know not all icon packs have all the app icons that you and I generally use. You can use this application to you know create a shortcut of said app and then customize the icon. So you can tap to edit the icon, increase the size, change icons, use a gallery image as that icon, change the style and also theme it yourself. I think that looks really nice and works really really well for customization as well as functionality. With that said guys, these were the 10 applications of February 2023 that I brought to you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoy them. With that said, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos to come. This consistency game ain't going nowhere. This is Anubhav signing out. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, you guys have a great day. Stay safe and peace out. Bye-bye.